Hello, Sagittarius. This is Lisa with Heart of Inspiration here for you, July 2019 reading. Sagittarius, this is for sun, moon, and rising. So if this does not resonate with your sun sign, please check out your moon and rising as I'm getting the remainder of July 2018 readings up. If this is your first time, welcome. Thank you so much for checking me out. If you're a return subscriber slash viewer, Thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. And let's get into the reading. All right. Overall energy for you, Sag. Very much fire energy. King of Wands. Very much you. You're feeling yourself kind of, you know, maybe a little bit of Leo energy there, you know. Um, very proud of yourself. Very kind of wanting to be seen. Very gregarious. I'm here for it. Um, also, we've got the Knight of Cups. So are you delivering messages of love to someone? Um, are you delivering them to yourself? Are you receiving them? Let's see that. But I do see this conversation going back and forth. And I also, with the nine of cups, oh my goodness, you're feeling, feeling very self-fulfilled, very self-confident. Like you're like, I love myself. I get myself. I'm really all about it. But also there's a potential here mm. with the ace of cups for some new love. And here's the strength card. So there might be a Leo in your future. All right. All right. Let's 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 go to the cards now a little bit further. We're using the Star Child Tarot deck for the main cards. And then for the um, clarifiers, we're using the Mythic Tarot. So coming towards you this month, I love it. One of my favorites, right? Ten of Crystals, which is the Ten of Pentacles in this deck. Abundance, abundance, abundance. That's the wonderful tree of life in its multi-dimension. That's amazing. You're coming out of this time feeling left out in the cold. Let me tell you with that five of pentacles, what I'm seeing with the five clarifying the 10. As much as you would like to be sharing this wealth with others, you can't. This is not for everybody. Yeah. You're going to have to leave some stuff behind with that eight of cups. You're going to leave the way that you do things behind. Um, uh, multitude of partnerships, multitude of... Uh, like, hey, let's just get everybody, you know, not everybody can come with you. All right, Sag, you got to not do that this time. You can't share it. Because if you share it, it's not going to, the, the plan that's laid out is not going to work. There, I'm just hearing very specifically for, you know, I don't know how many Sagittarians but that if you bring along the people that are that are riding your coattails right now, nothing good comes of it. They're going to tear it down. They're going to tear you down. It will never be as um, abundant as it could be. as And, and um, it will never be the stepping stone to something further like it's supposed to be. You can't. There's some, some people, and it may be a Leo. It may be... Another fire sign. <clears throat> That's holding you back. I don't. Well, there's water right here. I have lots of earth. I've got a higher font here, so it could be Taurus. Taurus. And some air. So I don't know. Earth or fire sign potentially. But all I know is it's holding you back. And maybe that's why the earth energy is here. Is it's like rooting you. Like it's holding you back from greatness. Um, from abundance. From manifesting what, you're, what you've been working at. So you can't always. Right? And I know that's a rather lonely feeling for you. And I know you want to like take everybody with you. Uh, but you got to do things a little different this time. Because if you don't keep it close to the vest, it's not going to flow correctly. Like the, the necessary steps aren't going to be taken. Um, you're bringing to the table two of crystals. So you're really looking not only just for, for balance, but to kind of walk away from old stuff and two of swords. You're making some decisions. You know that it's decision time. You know that it's go time. You know that it's get grounded time. You know that it's not only get grounded, but move at the same time time. But for you, movement isn't the problem. It's the getting grounded part. And you're making some very clear-cut decisions and you're moving with the chariot energy you're moving forward with it you're not nothing's holding you back from going on this path which is perfect for this month with the solar eclipse at the beginning of the month and now we're moving 
very quickly towards the partial lunar eclipse on July 16th. I've got some videos on that as well, so please do consider seeing those um, on my channel here. And let me tell you, it's time, right? It's really time. With the higher font, that's an energy that could be, uh, that you could have some difficulty overcoming. And I've also got the Three of Cups here. Um, I feel like there's too many cooks in this kitchen of a rather committed interaction. So if you, it's a love relationship, there may be somebody that's trying to interfere in your love relationship, maybe trying to enter it. It doesn't have to be that somebody's sleeping with somebody. It could just be that somebody's in the ear, right? Um, if it's a business partnership, somebody's in the ear. You got to watch out for that. Too many cooks in this kitchen. This six of swords. And, and that's C. C. Okay. That's why this five of pentacles came up. Sometimes you have to get rid of some folks. You cannot take everybody with you. You cannot continue to do things the way you've always done them and expect to get the same result or a different result, right? You're going to get the same damn result. So here we go with the Six of Swords, leaving behind. I mean, she just got her little dress on and she's like, I'm out. Like I'm walking through these swords. I see what I see what I've learned. I get it. I get where I've been, but I'm going to the next level. I cannot sit here with you and continue to bring you along when it doesn't when you don't are not deserving. And you're gonna have that's why these decisions are here. It's like I can see some of you like slicing the fat like cutting the fat i see some of you cutting the fat oh there's death card uh transformation you you know there's a transformation coming up from you that's not um you're definitely not going to be your normal self you're definitely leveling up you're definitely moving forward to this next where level where you can have the big idea and not feel like everybody's got to get on the same bus with you and you're finally okay with it. And not only are you able to have the big idea, but you're also be able to stay rooted and grounded so that you can execute the big idea. Important. Okay. Finally, the outcome or advice is the Knight of Crystals. So be careful, tread carefully, think about things. Remain in balance. Think about things. Vet people, vet ideas, vet statements. You know, do a little investigation. Find your Scorpio to investigate if you must. And I know that there's some overwhelmingness, right? There's some overwhelmingness. I need you to stay right there first. I need you to stay right there. Thank you. No. Um, there's some overwhelming emotions that are going on right now. And it's going to be. There's some overwhelming emotions going on and it's going to continue to be overwhelming. I get that, but you need to stay the course. Okay. You're going to come up with new ways to handle certain situations with the page of pentacles. Um, and I do see that there, by the end of the month, it's going to be, um, you're going to begin to see harvest, right? You're going to begin to see harvest, that page of pentacles. So don't despair that it feels like you're leaving people behind or don't despair that it just feels like you have to do things like, oh my gosh, this feels really different. Yeah, it's different, but it's necessary. I really want you, Sag, to really investigate people's motivations behind what they're doing really get a feel for their motivations behind what they're doing to ground tap in listen to your higher self okay all right guys so that's what i have um interestingly enough on the bottom of the deck we have the magician so you will manifest as long as you go on and move forward and make the right choice don't get stuck right being careful you're going to move forward but you're going to get exactly what it is that you need and desire. 
Um, we're going to have a little spot at the very end of this video, so stay tuned about our tarot classes that are coming up for July 20th. Uh, also, uh, if you wish to work with me, all that information is down in the description box below. Basically, heartofinspiration.net. You can reach me, find me, you know, book some time with me, um, and all that kind of good stuff. Um, and do again, please consider liking and subscribing. Hit that bell notification so you know when I go live or when I put up new content. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love you so much. Namaste. Bye-bye. Tarot classes start July the 20th. Learn to read tarot for only $297. Register at www.heartofinspiration.net now.